Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on uh, basic electricals. Uh, so far we have seen a lot about house wiring, uh, the different uh, faults in uh, circuit board and how all of these are connected. Now while we were talking about all of that, we also learned a little bit about earthing. Now what is an earthing? Earthing is essentially a way in which you can direct any excess current or leakage current back into the soil. And this is necessary for all um, heavy equipments and uh, this can be very clearly seen in the plug point of all these heavy equipments. They normally have three pins here. One is for the neutral, one is for the line or the phase and the third one is essentially for the earthing. So the one that you see on top, the big pin is essentially for the earthing. Why do we need this earthing? Many a times if there is leakage of current, the current could uh, spread to the body of the equipment and when you touch the body of the equipment, you will feel a slight shock there. Now in order to ensure that such shock is not passed on to human body, you uh, connect that particular point or connect the body to the earth, thereby directing any leakage current back to the earth's surface. And normally these points have three colored wires, one the red is the phase, black is the neutral and green is the wire that signifies the earthing wire and we also saw this green wire in the board where we opened up the board and we understood how the earthing is connected there. So this way what happens because of the earthing uh, present in any equipment the excess or leakage current is directed to the soil thereby keeping the equipment safe and keeping the human body also safe. Now there are different types of earthing. In this video, we will try and understand plate earthing. Plate earthing is called a plate earthing primarily because we use a copper plate or a GI plate at the bottom of the earthing. In order to do this type of earthing, we dig around 4 to 7 feet uh, inside the soil. From the ground level, we go deeper to about 4 to 7 feet. And underneath, we place a copper plate or a GI plate. A GI basically stands for galvanized iron plate. So we use a copper plate or a GI plate here underneath. And this copper plate is then connected to a copper wire to the mains and then to individual plug points in each of the rooms. Now, if you use a GI plate, it's better to use a GI wire to connect it to the plug points or to the mains. So the, the uh, copper plate typically is best if it is soldered onto the uh, copper wire that's connecting it or uh, you can use the, uh, um, uh, you can bolt it to that particular thing. Inside this we also fill it up with salt and charcoal, charcoal essentially to maintain the humidity inside the pit and uh, salt acts as a good ionic solution which dissipates the current that is received through the copper plate. So whenever there is a leakage current that travels through the copper wire and reaches the copper plate and because of the uh, salt in it, it dissipates the entire current thereby ensuring that the current is uh, or the electricity is grounded to the earth. So uh, we normally fill up the pit with uh, roughly around three or four layers alternating between coal and uh, salt and the remaining part is filled up with soil from the earth. We also keep a small pipe let's say about 40 millimeters pipe um, to ensure and a funnel is uh, for welded on to the top. This funnel and the pipe is primarily used to pour in water whenever it is required. Pipe, uh, the plate earthing requires water to be poured in to ensure that the humidity is maintained internally inside the pit and so regularly we need to open the pit and ensure that there is water uh, poured into it to keep the humidity maintained inside the pit. So uh, this essentially how the plate earthing, plate earthing uh, is made and how uh, it functions here. Now there are some advantages of plate earthing obviously because it's very easy to make and uh, can be uh, done very easily with things available uh, in most uh, houses. Um, but there are some disadvantages also. One of the disadvantages you need to keep pouring in water through this funnel uh, regularly to ensure that the humidity is maintained. Two uh, other disadvantages is that many a times when water is poured in here or due to water seepage because of rain or other water flow, the salt can actually dissolve and wash away and if that happens then earthing will not be proper and that is one of the reasons why the, this type of earth, earthing requires regular 
maintenance uh, and uh, that is a disadvantage in, the, in this type of earthing here um, so so essentially most of the houses these days normally don't have plate earthing because of these disadvantages they've moved on to something called as a pipe earthing so in the next video we will try and understand what pipe earthing is and how we can create a pipe earthing so we do hope you would have understood plate earthing in this video thank you very much